just a few years ago, my opinion about the job is it's slavery. I simply believe that it's a bad thing to have a job. I was stupid. As I grew up, I understood better. Now, I not only think that getting a job is not necessarily a bad thing, I believe that you can be happy as an employee. Not just that I believe that you can be happy as an employee, I believe that you can be a millionaire as an employee. In today's video, I'm going to share with you how you can be a millionaire even as an employee. If you're new here, consider subscribing so that you won't miss other interesting videos like this. How Money Is Made In my early years, I usually thought the only way to make a lot of money is to create products that millions of people are willing to buy. But as I grew up and got to know some employees who were earning a whole lot of money from their jobs, I changed the way I thought. Now, this is what I believe. We make money by being valuable. Being valuable, that's the key word. If you want to be rich as an employee, one thing you have to do is to be very much valuable, far more valuable than most people. Rising above competition. The first time I employed someone was in the year 2009. Over the years, I've announced vacant positions in my company and almost every time we received too many applications, more than we need. The last time my company announced some vacant positions was last month. Up till the time of making this video, we're still receiving an application after more than 2,000 people have applied for about 10 positions. Let's think about it this way. Why are most employees poor? The answer is simple. Most employees are poor because the job market is so crowded that supply for jobs is crazily higher than the demand. The simple economic principle teaches us that whenever the supply of anything is higher than its demand, the price must fall. When 100 people are fighting for a job, that gives the employer the power to pay less than he should. Close your mind and imagine a world where employees only get three applications for 30 job positions. What would happen in such a world? Well, everyone will be well paid because manpower is scarce. But as long as employers like me can see 50 people begging for one job, the hope of a high-paying job is lean. But there's a way out of that. And that is, be more valuable than everyone. No, listen to this. Though millions of people are looking for jobs, truly valuable people are very scarce. If you work hard to become more valuable than most people, your employer will not just pay you higher than everyone, he will cherish you like his eyes. What does value mean? For so many years, Every neurosurgeon in the world believed that you cannot separate conjoined twins, but a man would prove everyone wrong. His name is Ben Carson. He's a curious and studious human being. He read everything he found inside. He closed his eyes to many pleasures and studied beyond the normal boundaries any of his mates will ever dare. He experimented and prepared himself. In 1987, Ben Carson became the first neurosurgeon in the world to ever successfully separate a conjoined twin. Then he became world famous. Everyone wanted to listen to him. So he wrote a book to tell his stories. The book sold in millions. He wrote another book and another book. Ben Carson is an employee, but he became a millionaire. How did he do it? Ben Carson became a millionaire by going the extra mile. He became a millionaire by becoming far more valuable to the world than almost everyone in his field. He became valuable by reading the books nobody read, studying what no one did and daring what nobody did. That's being valuable to the world. Though value means different things in different industries, even to a different company, in all, being valuable means that you know much more about your industry and profession than everyone else. If you're a computer engineer, for example, your goal should be able to perform more miracles with computer programming than anyone in the world. If you're in sales or marketing department of your company, your goal should be to understand more about human nature and what makes them buy more than anybody in the world. Your goal should be to know how to sell and to sell far more than anybody in your industry. Joe Girard was an American salesman in a Chevrolet dealership. Joe so much studied and understood sales, which is why he sold 13,001 cars between the years 1963 
1978 and became the world bestseller in which he was recognized by the Guinness Book of World Records as the seller of the most cars in a year, 1,425 in 1973. Needless to say, Joe became a millionaire. Like Carson, people were willing to listen to what Joe Girard had to say about selling and that made him write books which made him even richer. Again, the formula is very simple. If you want to become a millionaire as an employee, then you have to separate yourself from the crowd. You don't just have to be an employee, you have to be an indispensable employee. Don't say it's tough. Yes, to be among the top 3% who make all the money in your industry is a tough game. But there are no two ways out of it. As I love to tell people, there are only two ways to become rich and still have some level of freedom. The first way is to be a successful entrepreneur and the second way is to be an indispensable employee. Unfortunately, none of these two ways are easy. So, if you want to be a millionaire as an employee, you have to make up your mind to pay the price for such a crown. You must seek to know what nobody else knows in your industry so that you'll be able to do what nobody else can do. It's by being able to solve the problems nobody else can solve that a company will be willing to pay you the kind of money they can't pay anyone else. Making money versus growing money. This video will not make sense if the only thing we'll talk about is how to be so valuable and get paid a crazy amount of money. You see, making money is half of the money equation. Keeping and growing money are as important as making money. So, let's talk about that. Let's assume that you'll follow all the advice in this video. Increase your value in the marketplace and attract a company that is willing to pay you an unbelievable amount of money. If you think that by making a lot of money, you'll be rich, that's not true because money is like a bird. It flies fast and easily. According to Parkinson's law, human expense increases in direct proportion to our income. So if care is not taken, you'll spend all your big checks faster than you earn them. The best way to grow money is to concentrate on buying assets. You can start by having a mandatory saving for a certain percentage of your income. Then learn about different investment portfolios like real estate, mutual funds or even starting your own business. The key here is you have to be aware that keeping and growing money is as difficult as making it. This understanding will push you to learn how to grow your money and become a millionaire. The summary of this video is this. You don't necessarily have to be an entrepreneur before you'll become rich. But you have to work hard at being the most valuable individual in your industry. If you're a software engineer, your goal should be to be the best software engineer in the world. If you're a pilot, your goal should be to become the best pilot in the world. If you're a web designer, your goal should be to become the best web designer in the world. If you're an accountant, a lawyer or a doctor, your goal is to be the best in the world. The more problems you can solve with other people can't, the more money any company will be willing to throw at you and the richer you'll become. And when you start making money, remember that it is as difficult to keep the money as it is to make it. So, learn how to buy assets that help you grow your money.